Amagus, I'm a makeup artist from Buenos Aires, been working in makeup for six years, and I specialize in editorial makeup. My name is Ryan Burke. I'm a New York-based makeup artist. My makeup style is three-dimensional, architectural, and conceptual. Hey, my name is Mashudad. I am a creative director and a makeup artist. My work can be a bit versatile. It's editorial, it's dimensional, but the one thing I will say my style is, is fun. Okay, look what we have here. You have one hour to create a look inspired by the following image. Dun, dun, dun. It's the Starry Night, Vincent Van Gogh. Your looks will be photographed in an editorial photo shoot. Ooh, I like the editorial, I'm ready. <laughs> hey, I'm good at yourself. I got a real quick time frame, so let's make it happen. You got it. Something so important on makeup is to moisturize everything when you start. If it's not moisturized, everything is going to look dry. It's important to massage moisturizer into the face. It helps with blood circulation and you can feel the bones and see the structure of the model's face. So I'm just gonna do your brows first. I can't even concentrate without like decent eyebrows, so I figured... First thing. Yeah, let me do that. Frames and then... the face. Mm -hmm. So I gotta think fast. I gotta prioritize, since we only got an hour. Come on, somebody, she got a brow. It's so important to not over-apply foundation, because the idea is you don't see the foundation. So now I'm gonna glue down the model's eyebrows. I'm using Prosade for this. Sometimes I glue down with a glue stick, but since I'm using a cream-based makeup over it, the cream can activate the glue and it will lift. So this glue won't do that. This is my starting point. Usually like when I do beauty makeup, I lighten the planes and nose and cheeks. Contouring around her hairline and on her nose just to bring out her facial structure. I like using a sponge because it gives you more of a natural finish. It kind of blends in. Whereas sometimes with a brush, you kind of got to work harder. Sponge is just easier. I don't normally use airbrush, but since I only have an hour to do this look, this is a faster way to get a nice, even base. Now I'm going to add dimension to the eye with a black cream paint. Since the base is water-based paint, the black shadow I'm using won't adhere properly to it. So I use a cream-based paint to give a surface for the shadow to stick to. Now we will start with eyes. I'm gonna use a makeup with water base. I really like it, it's like painting. I usually use it on editorials. The painting inspired me especially about colors. So I'm gonna use the colors and try to use the forms Van Gogh used. I don't wanna be like excessively perfect because the painting is kinda not perfect. Now I'm about to rub some of my little special oils so that this glitter can stick, but at the same time not be stuck on her to the point that she can't get home with it. I like to mix multiple glitters. I never use one. I love being able to have like multiple dimensions. Okay, so I'm Chef Mo and I'm here to tell you what we're doing. So first, <laughs> we put a light blue and then now we have a dark blue and now we're shaking it and letting it come together. Let's see. You see a starry night in there? Oh, oh it's a real starry night. I just want to put like a slight base because you see the glitter might be really transparent. Let's see how it receives that. Ooh. So far, this is what I think a starry night is. I think Vince, Vince would be very proud of us. I feel like glitter has this little special thing that makes you smile. So now I'm going to add texture to the skin and give a sort of paintbrush effect in order to emulate the style of Starry Night. So now I'm gonna bring it all the way down. Girl, you're gonna be blue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of a blue cream around the corners of her mouth because the airbrush doesn't stay with movement. Okay, now I'm gonna use a brush to splatter water-based makeup on top of this base to give the effect of the stars. Apart from using this effect for a paint splatter, this is also used to do freckles. Now I will continue with a yellow contour because we cannot forget the yellow in that Van Gogh painting. 
I usually put a little bit more of concealer around when I'm gonna start to do the lip. I'm using a brush for the lipstick because it's more precise. Okay, what I'm doing right now is smoking out her eyelid with the same lipstick that I used on her. It's orangey to keep going with the sky vibes. I'm gonna come back in with some brighter orange shadows. I seen a little bit of yellows in the picture, so I was like, why not throw some yellow under there? Now that I have my impressionistic Starry Night base done, I'm going to add some metal pieces on top. These are from the Flower District. You can probably get a lot of this stuff at Michael's. My style really comes from mixing different mediums. When I began doing makeup, I didn't know how, so I used a lot of paper, glitter, glued them on the face to sort of create a look instead of just strictly makeup. So while I've learned a lot of makeup techniques, I still incorporate that into my style. Now I'm gonna put mascara. Always curl the lashes before using mascara because you can damage the lashes. Almost done, guys. I'm speeding now. Look at me slow turn. Clock it, beautiful. Good. That looks so yeah, I love this. beautiful. When I did that makeup was like, try to respect the colors and the lines and the wave and go paints. these side shots, these are amazing. Everything was out of my comfort zone completely. So this was a first for me, but I also really liked being able to do what I know best. I love glitter, glitter is my cousin. So I'm glad it all came together. I love it, thank you. You're welcome, darling. It looks oh amazing. My God. I wanted to incorporate the sort of impressionistic style of the painting into the base of the face. And then the rhythm of the swirly stars in the sky, I wanted to use the wire to show that. The hardest part for me is just like a time limit. It's not always possible to execute in a whole creative concept within a certain amount of time. I agree with you. I think creativity is timeless, but it was still fun. Like a challenge is always good. Makeup is really interesting in that most of the way through, it does not look right. It's those finishing touches that really pull it together. Mm -hmm. But I notice if you just keep going, most of the time it works out. You just gotta keep going. Yeah. So this to me was a great experience. It was really cool to see how many different variations of this model, Nicole, like to see her in every different form, and every different element, and to see how her face carried it. I think this is pretty dope. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, it was I think that's so, so cool. much fun to see how different we can make yeah. everything. Yeah, and like just to see that we're really all different forms of artists, and it's really cool. So I'm happy that we did this. Yeah, yeah. it was so good. It was a really nice experience. Yeah. yeah. Nicole. Nicole, you're the MVP. I hope she's got a yeah. nice face mask. <laughs>